This tutorial will show you how to create um, an image using both dynamic text and images for each uh, subscriber. So this can be something as simple as a abandoned shopping cart or product suggestion or things like displaying a certain reward based off their loyalty points um, or any other image you might have associated with each subscriber. In this example, I'm going to build one using um, profiles. So I'm going to start with an image and this is going to kind of be my base image. So it's an image layer and you can see how it's created here on the right. Now you'll notice that there's a transparent center here. Of course, I'm going to have each profile show through that. Um, and now I can actually come here and lock this layer because I don't want to touch it from here on out. Now I can go to add elements and I can start by adding a dynamic image. So here we um, require you to um, give us an image that represents the size so we can um, control positioning on this. So I'll just drag an image in, place it where I'd like, and then of course, right, I can move my layers. So I can actually get the final position I'd like, and now I have a dynamic image layer showing through a static layer. Now in addition to this, in my example here, I'm going to use another merge tag for first name. I'm going to display everyone's name on top. Um, I'm going to change this to white. Change the font size slightly, bold it. Um, once again, I'll come in here and add another static text layer. So in this one, right, I can modify the font size down. Now I'm going to start to add some more elements here. So I'm going to start by adding a shape layer. So with shape, um, I can come in, change it. I will add a border to this too. Right, just giving a little bit more dynamic elements here. And on this uh, shape layer, I'm actually going to add um, the unique views for each person. So I can come in, modify this font size. Right, It already has formatting. Um, you can modify that if you want, but this is a number format. So in the thousands, we'll automatically add the commas. Um, and as I start to build this out, right, you can see all the layers on the left-hand side. You can easily manipulate, delete, um, and reposition as you need. Finally, I'm going to add one more um, static layer. Just coming here and positioning this down, telling them what they're looking at when you look at these numbers. Can align that with my number. And that's it, right? So I have some. Um, Variable layers like first name, the actual image for each person, and their total number of views here. Um, everything else is a static element. Something else to note, I'm going to go down to my dynamic image layer, and I'm going to name this profile. And what that's going to do is when this is done, it will actually say profile name and URL. Um, and if I go to preview here, right, we can see how this looks. You can manually paste in different names, views, and image URLs to see how this looks for each subscriber. So very easy to set up um, and you guys will be able to create images with multiple dynamic elements. When I go to save this, you can see that all the elements that were dynamic clean the name, which we show here, the profile, which once again will be a merge tag from your ESP. Um, showing any hosted image, and then the views. So very easy to create images with multiple types of dynamic elements, both text and images, um, for easy use in your ESP or CRM. Keep in mind that if you don't have all your subscriber data or images available uh, directly within your email service provider, we can also pull them um, through our data sources. The next video will go over this, allowing you to build images that update at the time of open from any API, RSS feed or CSV file. Thank you.